In this video, I will show you how to use WP First Start 4.0 plugin. So first, you need to click on the WP First Start item on the left menu, and then you have two choices. You can use the Quick Settings, or you can use Advanced Settings. Right? First, we'll test the Quick Settings. You click on this button, and you will see all the settings. So content, plugin, security, SEO, others, and that page. All right? So the only thing you need to do is to fill all the information you need here. Like you want to change site title, tagline, your mini mail, you can click on delete if you want to delete post pages, all the settings if you want to create pages, just for instructions, like separated by comma, etc. If you want to add the 10 uh, sample content, you can create legal pages for the ones you want. Um, if you can add a cookie warning here, and say this well, uh, use cookies, upset, blah blah blah. Uh, you can create categories and tags here, delete all comments, and all the settings here, the second comment, and it works out. Just click on next. We have a list of plugins. You can enter here the URLs, like here the instructions, or you can click on add recommended plugins. Right, if you need that. Next is security. You can check the options you want here for security. Any ones you want. You click on next. Same again with SEO. Just yes, uh, enter anything you need here. Let's check. Next, and finally, obviously, if you have some Google Analytics code, you have some Facebook Pixel, etc. Next, and finally, um, this is the one you, you're done. If you want to review some, something, you just go back for, and go back to step you need, and then go again to finish once it's finished, click on save all changes, and it will say save and save. Right? So it's, you just did the, the quick uh, version. If you want the advanced version, you can go to the V first start and then select. Any item matter, for example, content here. We have all the content option here, more advanced here. You go to again planes. Ah, and this list is the same you can see on the left. So you need to come here on time, you can directly go to flexible plugins. You will see the list of recommended plugins. You can just tell them just select the ones you want, just to select the plugins and it will install your plugins. Next is security, here is the items, next is SEO, then others. And here are all the settings in here, right? So everything you feel something, just click on save all changes and it will save the changes. And finally, you have Insta Reset. Insta Reset is uh, when you want to reset your WordPress to initial state. And um, yes, this is very simple, but also be careful because if you want to delete any settings, configuration that you have. For Insta Reset, just click on Advanced and yes, select the tables you want to reset if you. Uh, don't want to reset the users table, just remove. You don't want to reset the post, anything you remove here, right? And you can check reactivate current theme and plugins of the reset if you want to reset them and red confirm. Once that, just click on run. I'm not going to do it because it will delete uh, all my tables. So you just click on run and then you will give a logout of uh, WordPress. You have to log in again and that's it, you will return WordPress to the original state. Right, so that's it. Again, that will be first start, quick settings here, and advanced settings here or in the sidebar. That's all. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye.